Hey everyone, Julio Rodriguez here for Card Player TV and another edition of Poker Strategy. Today we're talking to Christina Lindley on short stack play. Now, Christina, uh, can you tell us what type of hands would a beginner be looking for when they get in the 15 to 10 big blind ratio? Um, well, I mean, I definitely think it depends on the texture of your table. Um, you know, if you're at a super tight table, obviously your hands can be, um, you know, not necessarily the top 10 types of hands, but, um, you know, like yesterday on day two, I was really short at the end of the day. We were talking about this earlier, and I was at a table with um, Mr. Smokey and Men the Master, and, you know, they were both pretty much chip leaders in the tournament at that point. Um, and, you know, I just thought, I knew that as, with my image as a girl, they look at me as a weak player, even though obviously I'm not, and uh, I knew I had to have it. So I just waited, and I did wait for the top 10 hands, and I got lucky, and I got aces, and I got ace-queen, and, you know, it's really about patience, you know. I feel comfortable getting down to 10 big blinds deep in a tournament when you're, you know, I don't know, I think it's really important to get it in good as opposed to just shoving, you know, when it's folded to you any ace, unless, you know, obviously you know they're gonna fold based on the player, so. There's shove charts, like I know more Manning, all those guys have like shove charts that they live by that are very profitable and um, equitable. And I, I tend to play by those online, but I feel like live, it's more like you kind of have to go for fuel, you know, for the players at the table and what you think they're going to do accordingly. Now, let's say a player is in that range of the danger zone and they just seem to be avoiding every opportunity to get it in because there's aggressive players. Uh, acting in front of them, yeah. or they're just an all-in in front of them? No, you can't. I mean, you can't be scared, obviously. And I mean, I definitely think that I even like, I like shoving over the top of an open a lot lighter than just an open shove, just because it looks a lot stronger, and, you know, especially if you have bold equity. Um, a lot of times, super aggressive players who are opening a lot, you could definitely do that. And I think that's a really, I personally like that a lot in tournaments live. You know, I think that it's a really good, if you have, say, you know, 15 to 20 big blinds, I think it's a really good place to look for a way to, you know, chip up, you know, for at least a fourth your stack without having to risk your tournament life. Now, if you talk about the short stack squeeze, how many big blinds are you looking for to utilize that play? Um, the short stack squeeze. I mean, honestly, like, I think you need to, to really pull that off. You have to at least, I would say, have, you know, 15. Um, I mean, I think, as a general rule, most really good players that I know are calling any random shove, if it's 10 or 11 bigs or less. Uh, that, that seems to be kind of the rule that I hear back and forth with a lot of the really good online aggressive players. So um, personally, if I'm going to squeeze, I like to have 15 or more probably. Well, I thank you for helping us out here on Poker Strategy, and I'd like to thank you guys for watching Card Player TV.